You, it seemed like you done been through hell and back, man. I have, man. I'm really in the streets. I really grew up in the streets. Like I said, on no option. Raised in the hood every day, me and T-Rod. I'm rocking Joe and I buying no g roll That shit true. No cap. Yeah. Hattiesburg, Mississippi, right? No, nah, I, I, I just stay in the bird, you feel me? I'm really from, I'm really from like an hour away from the bird, you feel me? I just stay up there. That's just where I be at. Yeah. Now, you made your appearance on Say Cheese when... You said Mississippi rappers were singing, and you brought the rapping shit to Mississippi. And you went viral for that. A lot of Mississippi artists feel like you you were you were being disrespectful because you weren't paying homage to the OGs. You know? Yeah. I don't know no OG. The only OG I know is Lil Lenny. Rest in peace, Lil Lenny. He the only nigga that I ever known from Mississippi, you feel me, really the rap. I never heard of no other dude. Until I started rapping, I heard of, uh, some ain't, dude. But other than that, I never heard of a guy from Jackson. I don't know why they'll be mad. I'm just doing me. Yeah. So you post that on Say Cheese. It goes viral, right? Yeah, People why, coming at you? Yeah, niggas came at me. Some guy, I don't even know the nigga, like I said. They say Battlefield, Pierre, some shit like that. I don't even know him. Like, why'd you even come at me about some pit ass shit and you a man? Like, I don't know why niggas do hoe ass shit. Yeah. Now, now, what goes on in, in Mississippi on a day to day? Cause all we think is this country. When I think of Mississippi, I think of soul food. I think of college football, maybe. I think of man, you know, that shit good as fuck. Where I'm from, like that shit good as fuck. Like nigga realize doing shit that niggas rap about. Like niggas really jacking, niggas really robbing, niggas really killing. Like. That shit ain't no game. We like wood, like number one or two. Jackson, Mississippi, like number one or two on the map for murders. Yeah. Like, I shit get real, like, niggas just, you know, like they, like you say, niggas just picture us as being country and shit. That shit ain't even country, bro. Nigga really having bread out there. Yeah. You know, in Mississippi, they say, you know, people will sleep with each other's cousins and, you know, family and. You know, shit like that, all that type oh, of weird shit. Man, that shit go on in Mississippi for real? Man, you know. I want to know personally. Yeah. This is a Sean Cotton question. Man, you know, niggas goddamn just don't be knowing that it be that cuz. You know, niggas be young and shit just fucking, you know. And they end up being a nigga cousin, but niggas don't really be fucking their cousins. Like, niggas where I'm from, we don't rock like that. But niggas do do that. So in Mississippi, that's kind of like a, yeah, it happens. Like, yes, like niggas be fucking their cousin by mistake. Like, I got a cousin fucking his cousin. Like, that shit crazy right now. <laughs> so, yo, on some shit, right? You can keep it all the way 100. This say cheese exclusive. Have you ever slipped up and accidentally hit one of your relatives on accident? Man, that ain't even no question. Like, I never, I never, I never did it. I never will do that. Like, that shit crazy. Yeah. But you know people who have, though. Yes, I and it's all an accident, right? Because it's so small, right? I know niggas right now today having sex with their cousins. But do they know that? And niggas know, like, you know, niggas' mamas done told them that's your cousin. Like, niggas don't care really. Like you said, niggas do that shit. But I'm saying, a lot of times it pops off and they already had sex with their cousin not knowing. Niggas been and then when they find out, it's like, it's a little too late. Niggas be had kids by then. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's just the norm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now you know we we put you on say cheese over these past recent months, and you had people in Mississippi talking about we never heard of this guy, and you know who is he? Why he clout chasing? Did that kind of motivate you to keep going in this rap shit? Thing motivated me was myself, like me making music, and you know people fucking with me, my fans, you know. That shit right there really kind of motivated me and made me want to go hard in this shit. But a nigga, oh, that nigga, that nigga won't even cry my mind two times. Yeah. Like, that shit go one ear out the other. Like, I mean, that shit made me, you know, know that I got fans and I got, that shit made me know that motherfuckers see me, you know. Other than that, I don't pay nigga no attention. Yeah. Now, um, we had a great conversation yesterday. You was really open about being robbed before. You know, a lot of people that take L's, they don't really like to open up about that. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people who take L's, you know, especially as being a rapper, people are scared to take L's because it does kind of tarnish your career. Yeah. yeah. But you were really open about it. You didn't give a fuck. You know why? Because, like, 
niggas know where I'm from, niggas know like K9, that nigga don't, he don't, he ain't gonna take no bullshit. Like, niggas fuck with me cause, you know, I fuck with niggas, but I, it's certain, it's, it's a certain, you know, it's percentage I go to with fucking with niggas, but you know, niggas know why I said it cause niggas know I ain't no pussy. Yeah. I can tell a nigga I been robbed. If a nigga try to come take something from me, I'ma, you know, I'ma handle my business, but, man, niggas already know about Lil' Rando, man. I ain't gotta let me go that deep out that shit. Yeah. And if, you know, a lot of a lot of people who are in the streets, they'll be lying if they said they never took an L, right? Man, niggas ain't got, man, niggas, niggas will take an L over a bitch. Niggas don't even take L's in the street. They take, they, they, they look at, they, them losing their bitch, they'll get into some bullshit quicker than they'll get into some bullshit about a nigga taking something from them. So niggas ain't even in the bullshit. Yeah. It's, it's, Right. Now you fresh out of jail, right? Yeah. About two weeks out. Yeah, yeah. I just got out like, like ten days ago, 14, 13 days ago, down to two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now what was experience in there like? Cause I know you went to jail before. Yeah, I went to jail like six times. I went to prison one time. Right. How long you do in prison? Just fourteen months. Okay. Got out. Start rapping. Yo, I got out. I got out. I started rapping like a couple months after I got out. I just started rapping just because like my cousin them do that shit. Like they just told me to go to the studio and record, so I just did it. Yeah. Anyway. Now you go in this time, but you a little bit more popular than before. Yeah. What was the What was the experience like in jail now that you got a name? Shit, it was crazy. Like everywhere I went, like even if I didn't want to be around people that I thought didn't know me, it, it couldn't happen. Like everywhere I went, like motherfuckers know me. Like if I wanted to be around a nigga to keep getting into it with him, thinking he don't know me, like nine times out of ten I would still got into it with him because everybody know me. Like soon I hit the door, they like nigga might not say nothing to me then, but like once I get in the get in the zone, chill and shit, nigga be like, oh that K9, you K9, shit like that. But I don't even be knowing nigga be knowing me, bro. But that shit crazy. Yeah. I can't do no action. That shit crazy. Yeah. So I was niggas trying to test you, or was it a, it was just a cool vibe in there? Yeah, it was a cool vibe. I had heard I, I was protecting some niggas, you know, some uh, East Coast type niggas. You know, I used to fuck these niggas before they even got plugged with they were, You know, I been vice lord, but I, I heard I heard on the, on the, on the zone that a nigga was talking about trying to get the guard to move me to their side of the zone and shit, so they can you feel me? I get try to jump on me or something, but niggas just be talking. Yeah. Cause niggas already know what I'm putting down. So if a nigga would try to fold me, like, that'd be crazy on that end. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm straight on the weed. You feel like you misunderstood? Cause I've been around you for like the past two days and I'm like, yo, this nigga's a different nigga than what I thought he would be online. Not saying that you're, you know what I mean? I'm just saying you're like, you're, you, 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 you be chilling. Yeah. Like a lot of people try to make it seem like you just a reckless, Nigga in the streets, you feel me? Yeah. Like you really got some common sense. You a little crazy, but you got some common sense. Yeah, that's just my image I portray, you know, as an artist. Like I try to portray the image well. I really am like that, but now that I, I'm a I'm a I'm an actual artist, I try to you feel me, just stay chill and stay I done been locked up so many times, I'm tired of going to the fucking county jails and shit, yeah. prison and shit. So that shit calm me down, no no cap. Yeah. So you know. Niggas feel like they could, like I said, my image, man. I be showing them guns and shit. Yeah, how does your mom feel about the guns? You, you know, your parents and you... Oh, they don't play that shit. Yeah. You know, my mama, she with, she with whatever I'm with, you know. But, you know, my aunties and grandmas and shit, like, they don't play that type of shit. My grandma, she see me with a gun. She hey, she took my gun when I was like, I stayed getting guns took from 16 to like 18, shit like that, to I was like 18, 19. My people used to take my shit when they see me with a gun, but you know, yeah. my mom and shit, she don't really care. I be having guns. I got, I stay with guns. Yeah. I mean, when I'm on your Instagram, I see, I see, I see big ass a ARs and M16s and things with big ass, big ass dicks on them and all that. Like, what do you like? What, what does this shit come from? You know, I'm a very known person. Like, motherfucker know me. They know I'm in the streets. They know the brain, whatever. They know I, I'm gonna get it. But like. I can actually tow guns. Well, I can't tow guns, but I'm on parole and shit. So, you know, it's a better chance of me, you feel me, getting caught with a gun and not going back to prison now. So, yeah. Yeah.
and niggas dislike me, so I gotta keep guns. Yeah. Now, you do you feel like the hate is is bigger than ever because of your, you know, the, the success that's been going on as a recent? Yo, like you gotta move different in Mississippi. Like, like yo, like niggas don't really hate me. Niggas really fuck with me. Like niggas that know me, they fuck with me. You know, it might be some niggas that don't know me that dislike me or something. You feel me? But like niggas really fuck with me. It's a couple niggas, like maybe one or two niggas that got one or two niggas that want to rile them against me. But niggas don't really dislike me. Yeah. Cause like I said, niggas know what I'm putting down. Know what my little homeboys and shit putting down. Yeah. So niggas ain't gonna cross that pill. Right now, why K9? Why the name K9? Shit, that shit crazy. It used to be this. It used to be like K in the nine. But like, I used to be vice lord and shit. Well, I'm vice lord and shit, so I used to have it like this, but I changed my shit when I started rapping the K-A-Y, N-I-N-E, -N -E, you know, like, I just had to juice my shit up, like yeah. a chop in the nine, mate. Really basically. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Man, now we here, man, we in Miami. Did you ever think your raps would lead you, you know, in Miami? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> so soon, right? Hell no. Nah. I mean, when I made my first song, though, I mean, it made me feel some type of way, but I never thought this shit happened. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought this shit happened. Yo, when we post you, they say you look like Playboy Cardi and Tupac. You get, you ever get that in the street? Or is that just the internet trolls? I mean, I never got the Playboy Cardi part, but that Tupac ass shit, you know. I mean, I be, I be feeling some type of white nigga say I look like Tupac. Nigga need to say I think like Tupac in my music. Fuck all that look shit. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I don't be with that shit. Yeah, 2020. What can we expect from K9? Man, you know, I'm making, I'm making things happen now as we speak. You know, I'm trying to just be bigger than what I am. Basically, shit, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to get some bread, bro. Like, I'm trying to, that one, that's my main focus, make building music to satisfy my fans. Like, that's what I'm on. But what's the end all goal? When it's all said and done, what's your main, what's what's the main goal? Like, what's the shit, point? Yeah, I want, I, I, I want money. See, you know, I'm just gonna make the right decision to get the money, but shit, I'm about that bread. Mm. No cap. I want that bread, huh? I'm gonna get that bread too, though. No cap. So you're a full-time rapper now. No more, no more, no more trapping. No more streets. What is it? 80-20? Is it 50-50? 100, 100 percent rapper? I ain't gonna talk about that. I know I'm rapping though. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about that. You know basically how I am. They know basically how I am. So but you know you can't do both though. We talked about that. You know yeah. you can't do both. So Everybody you know, who tried to do both is in jail right now yeah. with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. But you gotta slowly convert over to, to being a full-time yeah. rapper. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna take time though, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm doing it gradually <laughs> now. But you know, change from one person to another, that shit is pretty hard. But you know, a nigga like me, I'm smart as fuck. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Man, see, y'all go for that trap of the year, man. New music on the way. Okay.